What's going on? What's going on, everybody? I know I ain't giving nobody no heads up, uh, nothing like that, but I just wanted to do something real quick. My first live in a long time. And I wanted to talk about wholesaling real estate and investing. Um, oh, boy. Give me a second. I want to do this shit comfortably. But I wanted to just chop it up real quick about wholesaling real estate, man. And talk about it a little bit. A lot of people had questions. A lot of my friends just don't really know how to start, you know, where to start or whatever. So I really just want to, you know, get into that. And, um, not really gonna be here long at all. So, you know, my wife is cooking, so I'm trying to get me some food. But I just wanted to talk wholesaling real estate out here in Georgia. Getting started, man. A lot of people uh, had questions about getting started. Don't know where to get. Don't know where to start. But I would say I always start with the creation of your business. You can always start with this book. How to wholesale real estate in Georgia, and we go through the steps step by step on how to get started. But create your business first, and make sure that business is dedicated to wholesaling. And you don't worry about what the name of the business is. Don't get into all this, you know, semantics and stuff like that about that. Just create you a business. You know, you can do that. I think it's only like a hundred dollars or something like that to start a business. You know, start your LLC and create ABC LLC and get your business started. And that way you can be, um, you can be like invisible in these transactions. And that's what you want. You want, you know, to be almost anonymous, but you just want to attain your autonomy. That's what I'm trying to say, you know? So once you get your business started, then you want to start looking for cash buyers and these houses that's, that, I'm, that I wholesale and that my friends wholesale, they are everywhere. It's, they're literally, it's, it's an abundant amount. It's enough for you, it's enough for me. And that's why I don't care about letting y'all know about this stuff because it's more than enough cribs out here for everybody to wholesale. And everybody can make 200000 or whatever you want to make a year, 100000 or whatever you want to make a year or whatever, or a month, you know what I'm saying? So I want to, I, I, I've been hesitant about telling people about my deals because, you know, my friends, they say, nobody wants to hear about that. So I'd be real hesitant about telling people about my deals and, you know, but I want y'all to know that it's real. I told somebody today, he was out here, in my, a pest control guy, he said he was gonna call me, didn't call me, but I told him today, cause he was out here, I mean, it's hot. And I'm like, you know, he said he worked 12 hours a day and he drive and he, he just got a sucky job. So I was just, I mean, it don't suck, but it's just the fact that he has to sacrifice time with his family, you know, and he don't want to do that. So I was telling him about wholesaling and how, you know, you, you know, how you can do this. You know, you get a home under contract you know, for um, less than market value and you sell your contract, you know, for what a, a, a regular investor would pay. And he he was definitely interested. He said he's going to call me, but I don't know if he's going to call me. I know how work is. He said he's doing, he just started, blah, blah, blah. But it just can change your life in crazy ass ways. And if y'all, you know, just take the first step, start your business and get yourself serious, you know, and just, if you already got a business, you know, start another one. They only cost a hundred dollars. The EIN is like one twenty five, and then you register it with the state. You ain't gotta go through no legal Zoom. Who gonna charge you four hundred, five hundred dollars? You ain't gotta do all that. Start you ABC LLC, and then you you just get started. You go get my book. My book has um, um, contracts in the back where you can, you can see, I show one of the assignment fees, assignment that I had, but the book has sample contracts in the back 
or you can take these contracts or whatever and you can rewrite them and you can use them for your deals. So I would recommend, like I told him, when you get serious about it, go get the county code list. The code list has all your deals. The code list got everything you need. So you go to the county and this, like I told the other guy about cutting grass, you can go to the county and get the exact same code list um, for abandoned houses and um, houses with um, houses with uh, unfit, unsafe structures. You need to write that down. Ha abandoned, unsafe structure, um, uh, infestations. Uh, you want to get, you want to just go through the list. They got tall grass. Tall grass list is thick. You want to just go through the list and you call these people. And the first thing you just say is, hey, um, you also got to get the website called Fast People Search. Fast People Search is, um, is a site that you can go on and you can get uh, access to people information. Yeah. What's up? It's, it's my wife. What's up? What's up? Oh, you, you ready to eat? Not yet. Not ready? yet, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can get access to people information on Fast People Search. It's crazy. Go to fastpeoplesearch.com right now. Type in your parents' name and address and see what come up. Or type in your name and address and see who all come up under your name and um, everybody related to you. But you'll see how we get in contact with these people. And we just match their name with the name that's on the deed or whatever. And the name that's on the deed, um, once it matches, we'll call every number that's there. And usually they'll pick up. And when they say, when they pick up, we just say, hey, um, I'm, I'm a mod. I, I, I drove by your property, such and such, ABC, I mean, one, two, three, Victory Lane. And I just wanted to see, you know, if you were interested in selling their property at all. You know, one thing they might say is, you know, who told you to call me? You know, why are you calling me? Don't call me no more. I get so many of these messages, calls a day, blase, blase. But you just stay on the phone with them, just tell them you just drove by, you thought it was vacant, you know, and seeing if they was interested in selling. Now, usually they'll say, you know, uh, either no or fuck you or yeah, you know, so, but either way, you know, you can, you can search and get you that yeah. And once you get that, yeah, man, you get it under contract, and then you find you a buyer, which hopefully, if you go through my book, it tells you to find your buyers first. You know what I'm saying? So by the time you get a crib under contract, you already got people who foaming at the mouth trying to get them, a, trying to get a deal. All right? So you, you just call them. Um, you tell these people. I mean, you tell them you got a deal. If it's a good deal, you'll know because the market, you'll know if it's a good deal or not. And if you don't know, I'll just do another video just explaining you know, what a good deal looks like. You know what I'm saying? That's probably a good video to do. Something like that, what a good deal looks like. And so you'll know when, it, why you're doing it, you know, if you got you a deal or not. But I just want to give y'all those few tips. Um, not really being too long, but start your business, create your buyers list, and then you can use the county um, code enforcement to actually uh, start getting you some leads. All right? That's all I wanted to say, man. Um, I hope y'all are here getting this money. I'm out here on the low, man. I just started my appraisal courses, so I'll be appraising y'all home soon. All right, man. Peace.